All right. Budget smart watches. Now, budget smart watches have gotten better. You now get calling feature, AMOLED display, always on display, really good battery life. Plus, more and more companies are now making smart watches. Like, we all know about Amazfit, Bolt, Noise, Firebolt, and all of that. But now, if you go to Amazon or Flipkart and just type smart watches, it is Zebronics, Beat XP, heck, even Cultfit, a gym franchise is making smart watches now. Wow. Which creates confusion. Should you buy this one or this one? This? Ah, but worry not. TechWiser is here to make your life easier. We have used all these smartwatches from 1000 all the way to 10,000. So which smartwatch to buy? Plus there are a lot of false marketing going on in smartwatches. Stay away from all those. We'll talk about all of it. Let's go. Starting off with this Apple Watch Ultra for 1000 rupees. So if you go on Amazon Flipkart, you'll see a lot of Apple Watch Ultra clone. Even legit companies like Firebolt, Crossbeats are selling Apple Watch Ultra clone. Now, if you want to buy a first copy or clones, it's up to you. I won't judge you for that but i wouldn't recommend getting a cheap apple watch ultra clone because a it's a clone they can look like the original but they can never give you the experience of it in this case this is a very bad watch in itself like the display is very bad and even the mic quality for calls is just bad plus see here you get a lot of menu icons like this instagram twitter and all of that but if you tap on it nothing happens also b all these cheap clone things won't last long. Like this is probably work for a few days or months. Like already this has a battery life of less than one day. So it's a jugad wali watch. It's a waste of money. Be wiser. Stay away from all of this. Another trend that is going on in smartwatches is luxury smartwatches. Like if you go on Amazon and search for it, there are quite a few options. Even on YouTube, there are videos of luxury smartwatches. And I get it. Like we bought this Firebolt Quantum from Amazon. It has like a really good four star rating. So is this any good? Well, short answer, you know. Because see, these are clone of Rolex watches. And in case you don't know, Rolex watches cost anywhere from 5 lakh, 10 lakh and can go up to a crore or God knows how much money. So they replicate the look of those expensive watches. Like you get a metal body, metal strap and a premium-ish look. But this makes the watch so heavy. But I guess people buy it for these flashy things. So to give this metal body, Firebolt had to compromise on the actual watch features. Like software is laggy. Even the display is not that bright in Enough, it looks washed out. Even the rotating bezel is not fluid and not at all functional. You cannot do anything with it. So I mean, if you are tempted to buy these luxury smartwatches, I would strongly recommend to stay away. So a genuine advice, like a friend, if you want such watches, get a traditional watch, which will last you eight to 10 years. Like you can get the Casio F91W. It is a really good watch, costs about the same. Go for that one instead. Now, if you're looking for a more G-Shock like sporty smartwatch, this is Firebolt Grenade. It has much better build quality and Firebolt claims that this is a rugged smartwatch. But we'll test that. So we'll be dropping it from the first floor to see how rugged this smartwatch is. And it's always scary to do this. Three, two, one. So it didn't survive. The glass didn't shatter, but it is broken as you can see. Now, of course, you won't be dropping it from the first floor. It's not unbreakable, but in normal daily usage, it does survive bumps and scratches here and there. Other than this, I even prefer this sporty look, like the straps and all are pretty comfortable. You also get these cool watch faces from the app. I really love this Pac-Man styled one. You can expect the watch to give you battery life of around two to three days. The only thing is this is an LCD display, so you will not get always on display and all of that stuff. But at this price point, it's fine. Also see this smartwatch is taking heart rate of the air like it can feel life in the air. On a serious note, if you want fitness features and workout detection, all of that stuff, I would recommend raising your budget. So for around 2000 rupees, this is a good smartwatch. You can look into this. Next up, if you're like me and you believe that a watch should show time all the time, then you'll have to bump up your budget to around 3500 and you will get AMOLED watches. Like this one from Beat XP. It has a good build. Straps are good. You get a functional rotating crown, back button, all of that. And the USB of this watch is the display. Like see here, it has a curved display. And first I thought it was a gimmick but it is actually helpful. See, it curves on the wrist, making it pretty comfortable to wear. Also, you have always on display. You get all the health tracking stuff in the app. Plus, you can set custom watch faces. I'll set it to Spider-Man 2. I've been playing this game constantly. It is so good, so good. Another cool thing with the watch is that it has wireless charging. So you can use any wireless charger and it will charge the watch. For 3,500, this is a really good feature. Press the battery life of the watch is decent. You get one to two days of battery life with always on display turned on. But if you turn off always on display, it easily lasts three to five days. Now, I did notice two weird things. Like first, whenever you get a call, this notification shows up on the watch. And even after you have picked up the call on the phone, the notification keeps on the watch and it keeps vibrating and it's annoying. Ideally, the notification should go away once you have picked up the call. And second, on the Amazon page, see it is showing this image. You would think there are no bezels literally, but 
you see the actual display you have bezels i mean come on it's high time brands stop using this poor marketing gimmick to sell smart watches another thing the other day i did a workout and the watch showed my heart rate as 60 70 during the workout which is impossible so overall the point here is beat xp can work on the software of the watch but at the core of it this is actually a good smart watch for 3500 6 out of 10 if you're looking for a good looking smart watch that works next up we have this watch from the company that brought us the nothing phones this is their sub brand cmf and they recently released this cmf watch pro for around 4400 rupees now this is an interesting watch like comfort wise this watch is really good in this list even the watch software is pretty smooth like there is no lag or anything plus it gets very bright the only thing is they should have put an auto brightness sensor because now you have to manually increase or decrease the brightness every time but the good thing is this is an amoled display so you do get always on display plus here's something interesting see i'll compare it with the beat xp if i'm wearing both the watches see aod is active but if i take it off aod remains active on the beat xp on the cmf it turns off automatically so it has a wear detection sensor now that saves battery life that means said there are quite a few things missing from this watch like there's no tap to wake feature see if i tap nothing really happens or if you start a workout see you can navigate through the calories and all of that but then you cannot control your music play pause song so you'll have to end the workout to do that but if you overlook this small small nitty gritty stuff this is like a decent watch for the price next up we have this crossbeat ignite and this watch has some really unique features i really like the display like it is big and almost bezel-less like this is the maximum display i've seen on a smartwatch so far plus you also get chat gpt integrated with the smartwatch like what but don't buy this watch because firstly see chat gpt doesn't really do anything see i'll ask who is the president of india and it just keeps showing this animation also every time when you open the cross beats app on the phone it shows up a full screen ad first and this is basically an apple watch clone see the watch face software and everything is made to look like apple watch but it doesn't really work like one also see here this is a feature called dynamic island and see it looks so ugly here even if you leave all of this it's fine see on the website of cross beats it says it is an amoled watch but see the watch this is not amoled and what's worse is they also have always on display so it it just turned it just switched off <laughs> I was talking about battery life it just switched off. So, if you turn on always on display, it goes from 100 to 0% in like 3 hours. And for Crossbeats, this is not even bad marketing. This is downright false advertisement. You cannot mention AMOLED display on your website when your watch doesn't have it. So, stay away from this smartwatch as well. Also, you can ask your friends and family to stay away. Like I'm not going to ask you to share the video and all of that. Just tell them. Tell them Techwiser told you not to. Now moving on I would recommend you to save your money and get something like Amazfit Pop 3S it costs around 4000 rupees and it is a very good smart watch with good fitness tracking Now if you want to go beyond 5000 rupees and you have a budget of like 7 to 8000 then I would recommend you to look into the Galaxy Watch 4 It is a bit old now but during sales you can grab this for 8000 rupees for that price this is a really good smart watch because it has Android's Wear OS Google Assistant maps everything You can install apps from the Google Play Store and if you're wondering well, this watch is 2 year old Should I still buy it? Well, Samsung has promised four years of software update on this, so this is the second year running. So even if you buy it now, you will get two years of OS update. We have already covered everything about the Galaxy Watch 4 in more detail. You can check out that video. After watching this one, also on a side note, there is also Samsung Galaxy Watch 5, which is basically the same as this one, but it has slightly better battery life, and you'll get one year of extra software update. However, the Galaxy Watch 5 costs twenty thousand rupees. So if you talk value for money, I think the Galaxy Watch 4 still makes sense. So that was the list. Now, if you ask me which was the best from the list, we'll say two. First would be the curved watch from Beat XP at around three thousand five hundred. It is a decent watch. Yes, it can be better, but for the price, I won't complain too much. CMF is also good, but the bezels are a bit ugly for my taste and the best one is the galaxy watch 4 it is the value king when it comes to smart watches right now would you agree or disagree with me let us know in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one this is week signing off <laughs>